What happened, Christine? Christine, I'm not sure what they're saying, but I've got another case. She's here, and I have to be here. There's only one thing, Rock, you're going to jail. Christian Rock's shocking slide is spiraling out of control from legal turmoil to custody battles. Her life is a swirl of chaos, and scandal lately, Christian was dramatically arrested while defending her baby daddy Blueface in court. But this isn't just about one arrest with many felony charges involving violence and narcotic distribution. Christian's future appears gloomy. And even if they let you out, will they house you, arrest you, and force you to stay in the state of Oklahoma? WAC 100 dropped the surprise. Revelations concerning her potential long-term imprisonment and the terrible predicament of her child left without parents. And guess what? Kim Kardashian's name has even been pulled into this nightmare. Dig into this video to learn all the jaw-dropping aspects of Kizan's troubled past. She had a warrant out in Oklahoma L, my Arizona box core at that time, and lay and lay as the story unfolds. WAC 100's revelations regarding Chris and Rock's possible long-term imprisonment placed a dark cloud over her future. Christian's legal woes are far from ended. He adds that her hasty acts, like as attending Blueface's court appearances while live streaming, have compounded her situation. I'm telling her that every time I arrive to the court, she has her phone up on live like punk rock. Why are you showing up to court? Sheen's insistence on being present at Blueface's hearings, driven by a need to prove her support, ultimately led to her arrest. This, combined with existing warrants in multiple states, paints a grim picture of her immediate future. Interestingly enough, Christian's arrest has opened up a Pandora's box of legal woes that were quietly lurking in the background. The charges from Oklahoma include serious allegations of substance possession and distribution. Romance has been fuel for tabloids and social media alike, but the ramifications have been far more serious than simple gossip in a surprising twist during one of her court appearances for a different case. Christian was embroiled in a scuffle backstage at a Tamer Braxton concert. The altercation reportedly came from a misunderstanding regarding her position in the act, which led to Christian allegedly hitting tour's backup dancer, James Rye Chanel. Chanel has since filed a lawsuit claiming the incident left him with broken teeth and emotional trauma. So when I contacted the therapist, she said it's trauma. And so she was like, trauma will wake you up out of your sleep. What no one expected was the involvement of high profile fig figures like Kim Kardashian in a desperate plea for help Blueface's mother publicly reached out to Kardashian, urging her to use her influence to aid in the release of Christian and Blueface, while Carta Blueface's parents have been at conflict over who should accept responsibility. Carissa Saffold, Blueface's mother, has been open about her struggles to obtain custody, blaming Sheen for the ma'am. Marsh did not show up, and if someone pulled up who I didn't truly trust to remove the baby, I would have had to take my next step. As Kristen awaits extradition to Oklahoma, the court of public opinion is buzzing with speculation. Could her actions be a cry for help, a desperate attempt to hold on to a semblance of control in a spiraling life? Or is she simply a product of the toxic environment that fame and reality TV have created around her? But who is truly suffering on this, this whirlwind of scandal and chaos? According to many observers, the real victim here is Christian Jr., the constant turmoil surrounding his parents raises serious questions about their ability to provide a stable and nurturing environment. Both Blueface and Kristen have shown a disturbing lack of responsibility, frequently prioritizing their own needs over their child's well-being. Interestingly enough, this leads us to another shocking revelation. Rumors have been growing that Christian and Blueface are in fact terrible parents both disregarding their child's needs in favor of personal vendettas and social networking. Antics neither appear suited to be parents, as they're so caught up in their own drama to even notice the damage they're doing to their child. Being a single mother is one thing, like you get overwhelmed and so much going on for real, you're in a dramatic twist. Blueface recently released a controversial photo of his son's hernia on social media, which sparked a torrent of criticism. This shocking act reportedly done to Shane Christen for missing a doctor's appointment only highlighted their dysfunctional parenting, posting their son's medical condition for clout reached a new low, and the backlash was immediate and fierce. 
with many questioning their fitness as parents, that's all you'll want to sit up and talk about my babies blessed from the head to the toe, like what adding to the controversy, Christian's answer to the hernia post was equally upsetting. Instead of addressing her child's health issues immediately, she used the platform to bash Blueface, demonstrating their failure to co-parent properly. This isn't about personal issues, it's about the baby's health and well-being, which appear to be repeatedly disregarded. Kristen Jr. has become an unsuspecting pawn in this chaotic game, and his health has been a rising concern. Aside from the hernia, there have been murmurs about potential developmental issues caused by Kizen's lifestyle choices during pregnancy. Observers have speculated that the baby might suffer from fast, given the accusations of drinking and smoking while pregnant. These allegations have cast a dark shadow over Kizen's already tarnished. Image, wow, when they were here last time him and Cran Cran was pregnant, y'all were doing all that smoking and drinking here in the thing. Did you know? The foster care system is well known for its unique issues. The severity of the situation necessitates a wake-up call for these new parents, but it does not appear likely to come from them. Their tumultuous relationship and individual legal difficulties indicate that they are not prepared for the duties of parenthood. This growing worry among fans and the public regarding CZY and Junior Dot's well-being highlights the urgent need for assistance before the state decides to take more serious actions. To be honest, you're saying everything about my child, but I like that bro. And as the saga of Christian Rock's life begins to unfold, it's evident that WAC 100's harsh criticism of her isn't just a recent development, but a long, standing feud. WAC, known for his frank and often controversial beliefs, has never hesitated to call out Christian for what he sees as her negative impact on Blueface's business and personal life. Interesting enough, Wax's animosity for Christian appears to be strongly entrenched in his business connection with Blueface. He has often remarked that her presence is a huge distraction. My manager's only thing I'm saying is this. How can we keep the personal indoors and off camp? This sentiment underscores his belief that Christian's chaotic influence has overshadowed Blueface's potential and diverted his focus from his music career. Wax's opposition to Christian goes beyond professional concerns. He views her as a personal liability, frequently highlighting her legal troubles and reckless behavior. From her multiple arrests to her involvement in public altercations, Wax sees a pattern of destructive actions that not only harm Kristen, but also negatively affect Blueface by association. In a shocking twist, Wax even confronted Kristen directly on the Zeus Network show Crazy in Love, where he bluntly told her she was a distraction and a problem. However, what fuels Wax's animosity towards Kristen isn't just her impact on Blueface's career, but also her personal decisions and public persona. Their feud took a darker turn when Wax expressed concerns about the well-being of Chrissy and Junior, alleging neglect and negligent parenting. Wax criticisms took on a more personal tone. He's been vocal about the risks posed to the child, pointing out that Kristen and Blueface's tumultuous lifestyle is no environment for a baby. She did that to him. That's her problem, he remarked, implying that Christian's lifestyle choices have directly contributed to their child's health issues. This raises the question of whether Christian and Blueface can ever provide a secure home for them.